Yeah, I think I think definitely main menu is probably next on the list for getting this set up properly, like a like a proper fake game. And I, I was joking about that name, by the way. Please, please don't just be like, yeah, let's name it a bunch of adjectives from the 1990s. I can't stand that at all. Let's not do that. Yes, that is correct, TK4. I could do that. Also, I could go ahead and standardize the sizes here. Let me make a list. Okay, so list of things that need to be done list of puzzle stuff to be done. One. Main menu. Level selection. Um, just begin play. Options. Two. Standardize object sizes three transfer B BSPs to static meshes that needs to be done. Ensure camera position slash angle slash view standardized okay what else do we need to do um you start adding sound well tk main menu is definitely on the list so we are going to probably start with that save as puzzle to do on the desktop so I don't forget it because I probably will um, well so there's a couple different ways to do uh, to do main menus and there's really no wrong way uh, to do it the the question is is whether we want to make it a HUD widget like a UI kind of thing where we just load into one of the levels and go okay well now you've got this um, or we could do it as a HUD within its own level so that you know it just kind of spawns in we don't have to worry about objects spawning or anything like that it's just like a, a generic character and uh, spawn in the main menu HUD guy so that you can click around then there's the third option of creating a uh, interesting little level that you can like you get the the red ball and you roll into whichever level you want to go to, which I think actually would be pretty cool for this. Um, then there would be setting up a level where it's using 3D widgets, so you can click on them. There's a couple different options. Um, let me write these down too. So, main menu, type of menu, Three, 3D widgets with selection controller. Uh, roll into level choices the example would be like Raymond Legends full UI I should set up a Trello for this shouldn't I and give you guys all access to it and just be like here put shit in there and I'll do it <laughs> eventually In 
cut level or own level. Um, it's hmm, a lot of selections. I think we could. I mean, we could make several and see which one is most interesting. So the the main thing okay so I want this this whole project to be useful to you guys um, so the one that we choose I want it to be the one that's going to be most applicable to helping other people Yeah, de I definitely, I definitely think uh, level selection is probably the the best thing. It, hmm. Because that'll re that that'll help me with save states as well. Force me to have to learn save states so that we could put like a cleared or uh, you know like a check or you know maybe gray out options until other levels are completed which would be a really cool thing to learn. Uh, there's really no options for this game. We're, we're not doing multiple types of the game or anything like that. Maybe eventually do like a, an audio thing, turn up or down volumes. Yeah, that yeah, I would definitely do like uh, audio, maybe maybe resolution, but with this being such a small scale thing, I'm not as worried about setting up resolution right now. Um, quality might be worthwhile. I, okay, I'm really curious because I don't think it's actually going to change that much. Just want to see what. Ooh, ooh, this looks potatoey with. Ew, let me go back to Epic. Mm. Or Far High, whatever, yeah. Screw it, 100%. Epic everything. Because <laughs> that's not going to destroy my computer at all. <laughs> So I'm thinking what we'll do, create a new level, <laughs> overpowered by UE4, I like it, I like it. So we're going to save all of this. Got our guy here. Blueprint class. We don't need the ability to walk around. We just need the ability. So start menu pawn. Player controller. menu controller. <laughs> no. 
Nice, I like it. So this is going to call I believe we have a we do not have a game mode. Okay. Oh wait, yeah we do. Rolling game mode. Override. Start menu pawn. Player controller. Menu controller. HUD. Okay, so. Start menu. play it just pops us into here which actually I want to kind of come up a little bit that way it gives a little bit of depth we're going to go blueprints or no user interface that's right widget start menu Start menu pawn, event begin play. I'm going to go create widget. Start menu. Get player controller. Add to viewport. So this should go ahead and add it, and then we're also going to go back to the menu controller. Actually, I might not even need a pawn, but whatever. We're, we're going to go with it, because I've already done it. <laughs> Begin play. Show mouse cursor. Yes. So now when we play, we should we now see the mouse cursor. Sweet. Cannot move, which is what I want. Now let's make sure that this is working. We're just going to put a big button right in the middle. Bloop. Hey look, a button. Okay, so this is going to be the start of our start menu. Um, And what I'm thinking I'll have to do is I'll create a level selection where it, like, get a grid panel so that each individual one is its own widget that has one function and it's just open level and it'll be tied to each individual level. That way we can be like, okay, level one, level two, level three, level four, blah, 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 blah. And we can kind of go from there. I think that's a good idea. I think it'll work. Okay, and let me create another widget. Select level. like that maybe then to on clicked open level level underscore one. 